Dear students, in this unit, we will talk about phylum platyhelminthes. Now, platyhelminthes, they are also called as flat worm. They live in marine, freshwater, and damp terrestrial habitats. They include free living as well as parasitic species such as flukes and tapeworms. Flatworms are named because of their special structure, rather special body structures that they are dorsoventrally compressed. I mean their dorsal and ventral sides are complexed and make them just like a duct tape. When we talk about the species of this phylum, they have almost 13,000 species and those species are included in three major classes. Turbularia, Trematoda, and Cystoda. Now, the member of this phylum, they range in size from microscopic to as large as two to three foot long different species organisms. Now, you can see one organism here in this diagram. This is a marine platyhelminthes. It's called polyclad flatworms. You can see its body is dorsoventrally compressed. Now, when we talk about the class Turbularia, it consists of mostly free living flatworm, just like the organism which you can see in this diagram. And they include planarians and its relatives. Now, class Trematoda and Mongeni include the flukes, which are either internal or external parasites. When we talk about class Cystoda, they include tapeworms, which are, as an adult organisms, they are the intestinal parasites of all vertebrates, almost all vertebrate organisms. Now, when we talk about the uh, germ layer uh, condition of this uh, organisms, platyhelminthes, they are triplo triploblastic organisms. It means they are composed of three germ layers. Their cells composition inside their body is three layers. Their body is soft and unsegmented. And when we talk about the digestive system, either it is incomplete or totally absent. Their excretory system is very specialized, consists of uh, protonephridia with flame cells. This is a very unique type of excretory system which these organisms possess. When we talk about the respiration, respiration is very simple. They respire through simple process of diffusion and the entire body surface is acts as uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, place for the, uh, this uh, diffusion of gases uh, from the environment to the organism or from the organism to the environment. Now, uh, the adult members of more than 5,000 species of class Cystoda, they live as parasites in the intestine of almost all vertebrate organisms, including humans. Now, these tapeworms, they are long, flat, ribbon-like animals, which are specialized for their parasitic mode of life. They have different adaptations as a parasites because they have to live throughout their entire life inside the intestine of the organisms. They have certain adaptations, including the presence of suckers as well as uh, scolex or head. And the head or scolex region, they have certain suckers which help them uh, to attach themselves in the intestine of all these organisms. Uh, when we talk about the reproduction, they have the ability to reproduce both sexually as well as asexually. When we talk about asexual reproduction, it is simple uh, fission. In fission, what happens that simple an organism breaks into true parts and both parts, they become separate individuals. Uh, it can also uh, be called as the process of regeneration. Half of the body, after broken, it regenerates into a complete organism. 
And when we talk about the sexual reproduction, they have, uh, they produce different gametes and after those gametes, they are produced by the same organisms. So they have a uh, her hermaphrodite mode of uh, reproduction. The same organism produce male as well as female gametes and they both fuse to form a new individual. When we talk about the fertilization, their uh, fertilization life cycle is very complicated and it can involve either one host or it can involve more than one host. 